I am Francisco Arriaga. I'm a state soil scientist with the University of Wisconsin Extension Service. And today I'm located in Arlington, Wisconsin, and I want to talk to you about a uh, soil penetrometer. Uh, it's a very useful device for figuring out if you have any compaction, soil compaction issues in your field. Um, one that you see here on my left hand, it's a commercially available unit. Uh, you can find them online and, and through catalogs. And all of them basically have going to have a T-handle, a uh, shaft, and a couple of tips that come with it, with it, and also a gauge. So I want to go through some of these parts uh, briefly to, to describe to you the penetrometer. So the penetrometer essentially what you're trying to do is figure out how much resistance you have as you push this rod into the ground, which kind of equates or relates a little bit to soil, uh, to root growth in, in soil. Um, so before you use the device, one thing uh, that's handy to point out is that they come usually with this uh, little collar here to prevent any damage during transit or storage. So make sure that you lower that before you use your penetrometer. So the next thing to figure out is, depending on your conditions, there's actually two different size tips, a half, half inch tip and a three quarter inch tip. So the choice of those tips depends on the type of soil you have. Uh, the smaller tip, you use that usually on soils that are harder. Um, and the bigger tip, usually you would use that on soils that have better structure and are looser, such as the soils here, uh, where we're located here in Arlington. So you can unthread that. You're gonna thread that tip at the end of your rod. So now the penetrometer is ready for, for use. Uh, <clears throat> let me talk to you a little bit about the gauge because it's really important to understand what the gauge is actually telling you. So the gauge actually has a scale uh, that it's measuring PSI or pounds per square inch. And you would see that it actually has a green area, a yellow area, and then a red area. So <clears throat> the green area is usually about zero to 200 PSI. And then from there to 300, it starts a yellow area. Uh, 300 PSI and above, it's usually what is considered root restrictive, um, but an and, and indicating of soil compaction issues. But I want you to take that with a grain of salt because there's other factors that affect this penetrometer measurement. So if you ever dug a hole in dry or uh, dry ground, you know that digging a hole in the dry soil is really, really difficult. So moisture is actually a factor that will affect um, how hard or how much you have to push to get this, this rod in the ground. Uh, another, another factor is clay content. And so there's no correction for soil moisture or clay content on the gauge, so there's, but there's things that we can do to kind of account for that. Um, the one that I usually recommend is actually finding a fence row in an area near your field that has similar soil that you know has received very, very little traffic. It hasn't had any traffic. And uh, you can actually test the penetrometer, look how that gauge, uh, where, where it lands, and you can kind of make a comparison. So let's go and check out an area where we can check uh, the conditions, loose conditions for soil, and then we can come back to this field and assess it. So now we're near a fence row where we know there hasn't been a lot of traffic, so we can test now uh, the gauge and see what conditions we find and kind of get a calibration for our field. We're near our field. And as we push it in, we don't want to look at that scale. We're paying attention to the outside scale because we're using the bigger tip. As you can see, very little resistance. So that means very good conditions for the soil. As we go a little bit deeper, you can see it's increasing. We're close to 100 PSI, but not, not even near. So as an example, we're going to assess soil compaction in this field that was harvested for corn silage. Typically on a corn silage scenario, you have a high risk for compaction due to all the traffic that occurs during the har silage harvest. So you wanna go and check your compaction in a zigzag uh, manner, such as soil sampling. Uh, and you can look at that on the uh, A2100 um, publication from Extension. So another feature of the penetrometer, as you can see, if you look at the rod, it actually has these markings in about three inch uh, intervals. And so what that allows you to do is to assess the depth or the thickness of the compacted layer. So later on, you can set up your tillage equipment properly. So you want to get into your field and find areas that you suspect compaction and start pushing the penetrometer in. So as you're pushing the penetrometer into the ground, you want to keep track of that gauge. Recall that we have the larger tip. So we're looking at the outside scale. You can see it's getting close to 200 and I'm really putting a lot of weight on this. So this is actually definitely where I feel that there's compaction due to the traffic caused during silage harvest. And as I'm going in, you can tell that that soil is getting looser as so I go in and the penetration resistance becomes less. So you can actually mark that with your, with your finger. You can see that that 
uh, denser layer is contained to the upper foot of this soil. So very useful information for setting up uh, your tillage equipment if you want to take care of uh, this potential issue. For more information, please contact your local county extension agent or visit our website.